Welcome into the video, welcome into the channel. Hope everyone is doing well out there. And welcome into the next version of discussing your comments. And I have quite a few comments to get through here uh, in the last couple of weeks on my various videos, but I'm gonna pick out a few here to talk about and see if I can either be of help or kind of let you know where I am in that situation, whatever you're having. I'm gonna kind of show you what's happening on my displays for whatever you brought to the table. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna start with at Mike Big Hawk, and I'll go ahead and put it on the screen, his comment. Mike, appreciate your comment. Uh, appreciate you watching the video and bringing this to the attention. And this comment comes from the video where I was talking about the latest update for the C2 and the G2. Mike says, this update grayed out my settings for game optimizer mode for my PS5 and I can't find a resolution. Anyone else here? Now, let me preface this by saying this one caught me off guard because as soon as I saw this comment, I immediately assumed you were talking about a C3 or a G3 because as I'm about to cut in and show you, this is a problem that has been happening since the release of the C3 and the G3 and you could see it on my C3 right now. You pull up the game dashboard, the game optimizer, and the picture modes are grayed out unless you do kind of a weird air quotes fix to get around it, but it's not really a fix because every time you want to change a picture genre mode or a picture mode for whatever game you're playing you're going to have to go through these steps and leave me a comment on this video if you want me to do a dedicated video showing you what these steps are it's pretty annoying to get around this but there is a way around it but like i said this caught me off guard because i when i first saw it assumed this was going to be on my c3 and g3 update video and that would have made perfect sense to me this comment is on my C2 and G2 update video, the latest update. So first and foremost, you're looking at, if you're new to my channel, you're looking at a 77 inch LG C2 right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you the current firmware version just to show you that I'm on the same firmware version as Mike's comment on the video. So let me press and hold the settings button, go over to support, software update you can see right here 04.40.93 and just for the hell of it i'll go ahead and check and see if there's anything new there is not so now that you see we are talking lg c2 or mike you might have a g2 i suppose uh you know you didn't really clarify in the comment but i'm gonna assume you have a c2 let me show you what's going on here so i'm gonna go ahead and tap the settings button and it's gonna pull up my game dashboard now like i showed you on the c3 this right here in the middle will be grayed out unless you have the audio settings set up in a weird way. And as you can see right here, the genre modes are available. I am scrolling through them right here and I'm gonna go back to standard, but I'm gonna take a step further and show you, I'm actually gonna go into the game optimizer just in case you're not specifying the picture modes, you're talking about the settings in general. As you can see right here on the game tab, the game genre mode still available here. OLED Motion, I believe this has been uh, unavailable since launch. I've had the TV, this has never been a thing under game mode. And as I scroll down, you'll notice here, everything in here is showing available. But I'm gonna take it a step further and go over to the picture tab, and genre is still available, stabilizers are still available, here's some of your more in-depth picture settings in general, contrast, black level, sharpness, color depth, they're all here, including dynamic tone mapping. So, Mike, you're not the only one because I saw somebody else leave a separate comment, you know, outside of your little thread under the comment section, uh, trying to get a fix for this. I'm gonna do some digging in on this and see what I can find out. Because as you can see, my C2 that's on the same firmware version is not experiencing that issue. So I'm sorry to see that there's at least a couple of you experiencing this. Um, and mine is not and if I can find a fix I will be sure to put out a video letting you know what steps you need to take to get around this or Hopefully that gets patched on LG's next update for the C2 and the G2 So Mike sorry to see that uh, you're having issues changing the picture modes and if you didn't mean picture modes Leave me a comment below on this video Let me know specifics on what you see that's grayed out that you need to be able to change that's not available to change on 04.40.93. All right, this next comment comes from at Gory Glory. 
I appreciate the comment. You're also publicly subscribed, so big shout out to you. Really appreciate the additional support here on the channel. I'm gonna put it up on the screen, but your comment says, I did check your video before trying to update today and thinking about it. Do you need the TSR still to be on the C2 as I heard they fixed this? Let me address this. This comes on my latest video talking about WebOS 22 versus 23 and 24. 23 being on the C3, 24 being on the upcoming C4. And I talked about in that video, the main theme was, I have no interest in moving to WebOS 23 or 24 willingly until LG forces me to do it because there are certain things about WebOS 22 that I really like and I really like to keep the ability to keep things the way they are. And that main theme is discussing around the service menu. And what's important about that is that you have the ability on the WebOS 22 and I believe 21, maybe even going back further than that, I'm not sure if the CX has this, but on for sure on the C2 and the G2, you have the ability to go into the service menu and you have the ability to turn off two features that will have a direct impact on your experience when it comes to ASBL. If you're not really familiar with what that is, that's basically in a nutshell, when you have a static logo on the screen or something static on the screen, that only takes up a portion. Think CNN logo, ESPN logo, et cetera. The panel will dim itself down when it detects a static logo to help protect it against things like image retention, whether that be temporary or permanent Im image retention. And that's really what it's protecting itself from is burn-in, okay? So having said all that, what I love about the C2 and the G2 and the way the service menu is set up there is the ability to go in and have full control over this ASBL dimming. I know full and well the risk I'm taking when it comes to turning off these features. Having said that, to Glory's comment here, the fix that you're referring to came out for the C3 and the G3 model for WebOS 23. And the reason why that was important is because they changed your they changed the service menu. So, and I may cut in a, an example of showing you the differences between accessing the C2 service menu and accessing the C3 and, and moving forward service menu. They're, you access them the same way, but they're completely different on what you see on the screen and have the ability to do. So long story short, the fix you're referring to, I believe, is for the C3 and the G3 and probably whatever is moving forward because you didn't have the ability to go in and turn off anything that wasn't in the public menus. So now you're getting far more people complaining about it impacting their ability to enjoy their content. And that can be for things like gaming or watching, you know, a football or a basketball game that has the, the static score, you know, logos on the screen. You know, if you, even when you completely turn off the logo dimming feature in the public menus, it's still going to dim itself down to protect itself. The only way to get completely around it and have full control is to turn off these features in the service menu. Like I said, I fully understand that that's controversial. I know not, not everyone's gonna wanna do that, but that's, that's simply the case when it comes to the C2 and the G2 versus the C3 and G4, G3 and everything moving forward. So, Glory, hope that answers your question. If you have a C2 or a G2, you still need to go in and make sure those two settings are turned off. For the ones moving forward, just as an FYI here, if you didn't know, there are still ways to get to that particular menu in the service menu to disable those two, those two settings. However, it's a more convoluted process to get there. And it's my understanding because I have not personally tried it on my C3, but it's my understanding that after you do it the first time, you can enjoy your content the way you want. Those two settings are off. However, the first time you power down the TV and you restart it and you turn it back on for the next viewing session, from what I understand, the TV actually turns those features back on and you have to restart the process every time you restart the TV, which is a tremendous hassle to me. So, Glory, hope that answers your comment. C2 and G2, as of right now, at the time of filming this video, which is late March 2024, before they have forced WebOS 23 or 24 onto the C2 and the G2, you're still able to control that. If you have anything after that, you gotta jump through a bunch of hoops or just deal with it.
All right, and the next comment up here is going to be from I know you. I know you. I appreciate the comment. I appreciate you watching my videos, and I especially, I especially appreciate you being publicly subscribed. Big shout out to you for doing that and uh, helping support the channel in that way it means a lot to me. Your comment comes from my TVOS 17.4 update video. I'll go ahead and put it on the screen. It says. Have it turned on for all of my Apple devices. Never get an automatic download overnight. Never get a notification there is an update or that an update is available. Why do they have it? If you're not sure what we're talking about, let me show you what I'm talking about real quick. I'm on the Apple TV 4K as you can see here. I'm gonna hop into settings. I'm gonna head on down to system and we're gonna look at the software update section. And what we're talking about is this automatically update feature, which as you can see, I have turned on, okay? And it says Apple TV can automatically install new updates when they're available. That's bull And let me tell you why. Because it says can automatically install, which is a funny way of putting that down there to me. I have owned a variation of Apple TV's devices for probably two or three years now. And, I'm, and I think the first one I got was the second generation. And this right here is actually the third generation model. But having said that, either generation device, I have had this checked on and just left it that way. It is never once, not ever, in the great words of Smokey, ever, 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 ever if you know that movie, it has never, told me when there's an update available. The only way I've ever figured out if there's an update available is if I come in here to update software and just do a test, you know? Like for the hell of it, I'll do it right now. So what's the point of having that right there in your face as a feature, as a creature comfort feature, so that you can just in, you know turn on your TV, turn on your Apple TV and enjoy your content and if, and if Apple pushes out an update, you don't have to keep up with it. You know, you don't have to go in every single day and check it. Like, oh, am I missing an important update that has new features? I have to go in there and click update software. No, what you do is you leave that to me. And the reason why I say that is, I'm the person that goes in, if not every day, every couple of days and checks for updates so that I can make the videos let you know that A, there is an update being pushed out and B, what comes with the update, you leave that to me, good old quick sand TV. I got you covered in that department. But having said that to I know you's comment, I'm 100% with you. I don't know why they even have that there. Maybe just to feel better about themselves. Like, hey, we're gonna show this to you. But oh, by the way, it's never going to let you know. But wouldn't it be nice if that worked properly? Where the next, the, the one particular time you turn on the Apple TV, it'll just pop up and say, hey, there's an update available. Do you want to install it? Wouldn't that be a nice feature to have? You know, as in it works properly. Anyhow, as Apple continues to have that feature not work, work correctly, if you, this is your first time seeing one of my videos and checking out my channel, and you want to stay up to date with these Apple TV 4K updates and not have to worry about going into the settings and checking for the software updates every single day or every couple of days to make sure you're not missing some cool new features they've added. I got you covered there. Just subscribe to this channel, turn on the bell notification. And when one of these updates comes out, you're going to know about it day one. Okay. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wrap things there. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like to see your comments pop up on one of these discussing your comments videos, you have an issue with your TV, your Apple TV, your game system, uh, drop a comment on one of my videos. The best way to get to make sure that I feature your, your comment on one of these videos and talk about it is to either be publicly subscribed, which doesn't cost you anything, or if you wanna help support the channel and take a step further, you can become a member of the channel. Big shout out to those of you that have done that. So as always, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap things there. I appreciate watching the video. If you've seen enough here to consider subscribing to the channel, I'd really appreciate it. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. Click that bell notification so you don't miss my future uploads. But with all that being said, until the next one.